the last time you didn't play on Christmas Day? No, nah, I mean, even before I came to the league, though, I've always, you know, I played on Christmas Day anyway. I went to the playground and played ball anyway, so it's no different. But you like it, though? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I enjoy playing, so. Now, as far as, Steve, as, far as Steve's uh, return is concerned, Nash, you can see immediately the impact that he's had on your club. No, of course. I mean, he's, uh, you know, a great organizer, great passer, great shooter, and he does everything well. So, I mean, it's a, you know, obviously it's a, it's a big boost. You had 33 assists as a team. Nash only accounted for nine. What got that ball moving from side to side? We've been doing a much better job of it, um, you know, as of late. You know, we've been really moving the ball pretty well. And um, then you put him back in the lineup, which um, he really promotes that you know, on your team. So we, we just get better at it. Corey, you have two come from behind wins the way you did, obviously, different games. But the way you did, what does it do for the team? You know, I think it, uh, you know, it increases your bond, um, you know, in each other. And when you get down like that, you got to come back together as a group. you got to lean on each other as a group. And I think it just strengthens your, your bond. What do you notice is different about Carmelo this year? Nothing. Just how people are interpreting how he's playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a, and they were winning in Denver as well, but I think it's, you know, the coaching staff and, you know, the players, they encourage him to do what he does best. I think everybody just kind of is following suit behind that. Since your last game in Madison Square Garden against the Knicks, how much better is this Laker team now going into Christmas Day? Well, we feel a little bit better about ourselves. We have a little bit more confidence, playing with a little bit more energy. What was that like for you the last time you guys played against them where Mel was hitting a lot of shots? You were you guys were kind of going back and forth. Um, I mean, it's fun. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, you can feel the energy of the crowd and people kind of get into it and not knowing, you know, what type of night they're going to expect from both of us. And, um, it's fun. Like, like, speaking of Christmas, there seems to be so much time about the shoes you're going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> Did you help design those things? No, nah, I'm more of a, uh, a tech guy and making sure that technology in the shoe is exactly how I want it and the fit is how I want it and it's comfortable. And then, you know, aesthetically, I kind of let them take the liberties with it. You took 41 shots last game, which was pretty rare for you to do. You know, like eight or nine times in your whole career. Meta said it didn't feel like a, a 41 shot performance in their other games where it felt like it's a lot of shots. Did you feel like the, the offense had a flow with Steve there? And it, did that allow you to be able to take, you know, um, well, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, you know, I just slide into that role. I mean, all the shots that I get, or I got that night were pretty darn good looks. But I, I know how to move myself in positions to get those shots. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy to do. But yeah, it didn't feel like it. This would be like your 14th consecutive Christmas day game. You're 4 and 9 over the last 13. Why do you think you're 4 and 9 over the last 13? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, kind of messes up the Christmas day a little bit. Kind of puts a little chink in it there for a minute. Um, but I don't know. I think last year, you know, you had the chance to get the scoring title going and you sat out the last game. You, you're on pace to do that. Is that kind of the same sentiment that you have? It's gravy and not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't, you know, I just go out there and do what I do. I mean, you know, um, particularly with Steve back, you know, my responsibility really is is to score and, and you know, and take responsibility and putting the ball in the basket and try to do it at a high percentage. Um, so, I mean, that's just that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, Kobe, the bench was big in that Warrior game, not just in points, but in defense in that fourth quarter. Um, what are your thoughts on the bench and how they've come along? Uh, they're playing extremely well. I, mean, I, I think, you know, going through a tough time there at the start of the season just made them stronger, just made them tougher. And, you know, start playing a little bit better, starting in um, you know, Washington and Philadelphia, start playing a lot better, start getting more confidence, and um, you know, we're going to need them. Kobe, how did you think how handled quarterbacking kind of at the high post? Oh, he's great at it. He's the best big in the league at it. So, I mean, that's, that's you know, he's extremely, extremely comfortable doing that for us. Is that where he and, and Dwight can really find a way to play together on the court at the same time? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we just play to our strengths. I mean, you saw me and Steve in the last game. I just slid right off the ball and let Steve do what he does best. And, um, you know, Powell, Powell's incredible. You know, you, you know, run the offense through him a lot, and he's able to make plays for a lot of people and make a lot of guys better because of that. And um, Dwight can feast off of that. How important is tomorrow's game? Is it just one out of 82? Is it more special for this Christmas? Or no, it's special for us. We need to string some wins together. You know, we got we to gotta get going here. So it's a, it's a big game for us.
Steve mm -hmm. even mentioned that this team should be desperate right now. Yeah, you know, you got to play with that sense of energy all the time, um, um, particularly now.